So you've learned all of your guitar parts and you're playing them note by note or you've memorized your scales and you're improvising and you know you're playing the right notes but there's still something sounding off. There's still something sloppy. Well, we're gonna address all of that after this. Hello everybody, I'm Jack and welcome to Guitar Elevation. In this lesson, we are going to talk about the ultimate string bending exercise. Well, basically, it's one exercise, but it has two parts, and we're going to talk about all of that. This exercise will help you play better solos by getting rid of the sloppiness when it comes to bends. This exercise will also help develop a better ear for string bends. Now, of course, when we're playing something and it doesn't sound right, it might be a multitude of reasons. But today, we're just going to talk about the bends inside of your solos or your riffs. So basically before I get into the exercise, I'm going to share with you how I teach my students uh, how to perform the string bending technique, how, what fingers to use and how to use them. Now hold up if you think you're more advanced for that and you want to skip, well be my guest if you want to. However, Please stay till the end because it's all going to build up together and it's all going to make sense together. So let's start with the technique first. Let's start first with the good string bending technique and then we'll move into the exercise. I'm going to start on the B string and let's suppose I'm on fret number 12 here. Now let's suppose I want to do, I want to perform a full bend, which is two frets up, 14, all right? Let's suppose I want to do this bend. We're going to use the, our third finger or the ring finger in order to fret the note. Our middle finger is going to support that third finger and is going to grab the string as well. So now we have the third finger and the second finger one after another on the B string. All right now, my index finger can either help support the others, all right, while laying on some other strings, which I'm going to talk about, or it could just be laying on all of the other strings, whichever you prefer. Now, I personally prefer the first one, all right, because I've never got, gotten used to doing that when it comes to bending. I do that when I'm doing vibrato, however but that's for another day. So what I do with my index finger here, the pointer, is I just lay it on the G string. Since I'm on the B string, I'm gonna lay it on the G string so that I mute everything happening on top of that B string. So that even if I rake, rake and then string bend, everything is muted. Okay? Sometimes I even add my index finger on the B string but I gently put it in a way that it is muting the G string as well. So, like that. All right? Now, when it comes to the thumb, the string bending technique is one of the few exceptions where I usually let my students put their thumb around the fretboard because we need more leverage. So when I wrap my thumb around the, uh, the neck, it gives us more leverage for the other fingers to actually, um, you know, bend the strings. So... That's about the technique. And really, if you don't have a decent technique, you'll never have uh, bands that are in tune because you're putting too much pressure or too little pressure. Well, doing everything I told you is gonna help you perform better bandings because you're gonna use less strength, all right? And then you will have less tension in your hands. So now, I know some people ask me, what if I'm bending with some other fingers? Well. If you're bending with the middle finger, with the second finger, then your first finger has to be muting and supporting the second finger at the same time, if you want to. And if you don't need the support, you can just use it to mute the strings. All right? So, now that we got this down, let's move to the exercise. Hey guys, really quickly here, if you're enjoying the lesson so far, please don't forget to subscribe and if you need the tabs you can download them on the link below but do this at the end of the lesson let's keep going for this exercise i'm going to use the e major scale on one string i love using one string if you've been following this channel you know i love using one strings so we're going to play the e major scale on one string 
you get the diagrams here i'll show it to you on the screen but you can also download it on the link below but please do that at the end of the lesson let's keep moving on so uh, i gave you this uh, one string major scale because i want to apply some bands here what i want to do is i want to play that scale going from one note to another while bending that's what we're going to do instead of playing every single note alone we're gonna play five and then start bending from the previous note into the actual pitch we want so the first pitch is five and the next pitch is seven so instead of playing seven i'm gonna bend from five to seven and then do the same thing from seven to nine so on and so forth so how do we perform the exercise basically you are going to play five then play seven and then bend into seven in order to hit the same pitch so you listen to the note and then you bend into it okay now you listen to nine and you bend into it you listen to ten and you bend into it twelve bend into it uh, fourteen bend into it Four, uh, sixteen bend into it there you go now if you're more advanced and you want a challenge what you can do is basically try to pre-band okay without hearing the pitch first so for example five seven nine ten you see how it goes and then you can oh those were the correct notes i played and that's how you can tune your ear to the exercise and that's how you can tune your ear to the bands now remember something the strength you need to put and how much you should bend will differ depending on the strings you're playing on and the area of the fretboard so it's much easier to bend on the b string than it is to bend on an a string for example and it's much easier to bend around fret number 12 for example than it is around fret number three okay so you need to tune your ear on different strings and on different area of the fretboard all right so you go you do this going up and that's the exercise now the part two of this exercise is to actually go down so instead of starting with the e note on 17 you are going to start on 16 with a band There you go. But if you're one of those advanced guys, you're going to do the same thing I told you when, when we were ascending. You are going to pre-band. So you can't hear that pitch. You're just going to try to evaluate your pre-band and try to hit it on the spot like that. That's what you're going to do. Brian May from Queen does this all the time in his solos and I think it's brilliant. All right? So, that was the exercise basically. Nothing fancy here. However, it's going to make wonders to your ear. Try to replicate this on the E string and the G string, all right? And see how it goes from there. Uh there you go. So two levels on the exercise and you can do all kind of crazy stuff with it you can do something i call a three notes grouping uh, using the e major uh, scale on the b string such as there you go all kinds of exercises have fun with it and let me know how it goes if you like this session please subscribe and let me know in the comments section what lesson do you want me to do for you next? Practice well and I'll see you in the next lesson that is showing on your screen right now.